All right, guys, I'm back with another video, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. Uh, I figured out uh, an even easier method uh, for making your character run slowly up slopes and fast down slopes. And it works in any direction, just like that other guy's. And... Uh, What's going on here is if you see the red arrow, that's the impact normal, and uh, the green arrow uh, represents, well, actually, I don't think the green arrow is even hooked up correctly. Let me see here. Oops. Let's see. The, play, the player direction. Oh, yeah, no, it's not hooked up. Okay, so if I just get... Uh, actually, I could probably do it like this. So you can see. And that's just pointing up off the slope, and the other one's pointing in the direction that my player's going. And uh, I'm just using the dot product to get uh, the value, and I'm using a curve to select a uh, speed based on that value. So, I'll go ahead and show you how this works real quick. So, if we come over here, I'm just going to do a little explaining. Rather than printing out the value of this, I will print out the dot product so that you can see how this works. So, when we're moving up the slope, it gives a negative uh, 0.34 value. And we're, when we're moving down the slope, it gives a positive 0.34 value. And if we come up this one, it gives a negative 0.64 value and a positive 64 value. So what we're doing is the negative ones are uh, the angles when we're going up and the positive ones are the angles when we're going down. So we don't actually need the angles. We can still do kind of what I was trying to do before, but without having to use a trig function. And... Uh, I was I learned this actually a while ago whenever I was uh, uh, reviewing some uh, uses for dot products and so we're gonna go ahead and set this up in a new project so if you'll start and create a third person uh, uh, project like I did then what we're gonna do is well first off uh, let me go ahead and delete this and then we're just going to get a cone by coming down here and we're going to scale this up and then we're going to come around here and scale this out and then we'll just bring it up a little bit make sure it's not too steep it's not so now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on him and edit third person character and just open this up and uh, I'll just kind of set this up like I did using that other guy's method, update movement. And then uh, we'll create another one called, uh, uh, I'm just going to call it can move. And then the other one, I'm just going to uh, say uh, uh, find... Uh, Or let's say uh, set or let's say get movement speed and we'll call this one set movement speed and then uh, on this one we're, we need an input same as kind of like how that other guy did it and we're going to call this speed and the boolean is going to be a float and then on this one we're going to have an output of speed and it's going to be a float as well and then this one can move is going to have an output of um, uh, yeah can move and it's going to be a boolean so the reason why I named this can move instead of what he named his is because if we uh, try to uh, take this over to 
the ALS and we put it in the animation uh, blueprint like I did uh, in that other video using his method then uh, what will happen is it actually won't let us name it that because uh, that's already being taken up by something else so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the event graph and we're gonna right click on here and type in event uh, tick and off of this event tick we're gonna uh, promote this delta seconds to a variable and we're just gonna do that we're gonna drag this update function off of here we're gonna come over here we're gonna drag out the and open up that update movement function and we're gonna drag out the can move function over of here we're gonna do a branch and then off of here uh, we're gonna do a get movement speed and then off of here we're gonna set the movement speed and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go over here to can move and uh, off of can move we're gonna get the character uh, movement and we're gonna check to see if uh, uh, the character is falling so type right click or drag off of here and type in is falling and then we're gonna uh, drag off of here and just say not boolean and then off of here we're gonna drag off and say and boolean and then right here we're gonna drag off and say get velocity and then we're going to get that velocity we're going to drag off a of velocity and we're going to uh, say vector length and what this does is it's going to basically return uh, the length of that vector which will be the speed uh, and we're going to say if that speed is greater than zero then he's moving uh, so if the character is moving and he's not falling that means he's on the ground and we can move so I'm just gonna straighten this out real quick and then there we go now over here on uh, get movement speed we're just gonna pull this over here we're going to do one line trace, line trace by channel, sorry about the phone, it's been blowing up non-stop all day. It's literally been uh, ringing about every five seconds all day long. So uh, let's see, if we, first off we're going to, we're going to get our actor's uh, location, so get actor location and then off of here we're just going to add vector plus vector and then we're going to promote this to a variable and we're going to call it uh, trace offset you don't have to promote it to a variable but it'll just make it easier for you to change later on uh, so you're going to compile that, save it, and now over here on the Z, we're just going to say negative 200. Um, you don't have to do this specifically this way. You could uh, do it a number of different ways. Uh, you could get the, uh, if you wanted this to be more uh, foolproof across different characters, you could just say, uh, you could get the mesh or the capsule component, and you could say, get capsule half height and then you could just uh, uh, subtract that actually vector minus vector or actually vector minus float and it would do the same thing so we just want to trace from the uh, character's location down uh, to the ground but you might need to add a little offset to this one anyway but I'm just gonna put it back like it was so now all we have to do is 
we're going to well we need another variable we're going to call this uh, uh, c underscore movement speed and we're going to change it to the variable type to uh, curve curve float specifically and we have not created our curve yet so it's not in there so over here somewhere in whatever folder you want I'm gonna do it in the content folder you're gonna right click go to miscellaneous and go to curve go to curve float select now you're just gonna type in C underscore movement speed and then open that up and then we're going to create four keys here. And then let's see. So one of them is going to be 0.5. And it's going to be 900. You can change these values later if you want. This one's going to be 0.2 and 600. And this one is going to be negative 0.2 and 600. And then this one is going to be 0.5 and 100. And then what you can do is you can save it, close it, and then open it back up. And that will fix everything for you. So what we're going to do is on the first one we're going to make that auto and we're going to hold down shift and drag that down so that it's uh, level we're going to do the last one auto hold down shift and drag that little circle so that it's level now on this one we're going to make that one a break and on this one we're going to make this one a break and that's pretty much it so back over here we're going to change the default value of the C movement speed to C movement speed. We're going to drag that one out. We're just going to say set, uh, or let's see, type in value, get float value. That's what we want. Now off of here, we're going to break this. We just need the impact to normal. So we want the capsule component and we want to get its forward uh, get forward vector and what that's going to do is that's going to give us a vector that's pointing towards the direction the player is uh, pointing and then we're going to get the impact of normal and we're going to say uh, we're just going to get the dot product dot product and we're going to plug this one in and then we're just going to plug that one in there and plug this in here now let's see as long as I didn't leave anything out that's pretty much it for this part so let me just make sure yeah that's that was it now I did the uh, arrows just for demonstration purposes but this is it so over here on the movement speed what we want to do is we, we want to interpolate the character's movement speed so get the character movement component drag it out here and say set max walk speed and off of this we're going to drag out and say f interp Two, as in float interp two. It's going to interpolate from the current position to the target position. The speed will be the target position. Our delta seconds will be our delta time. You can also right click and say get delta uh, seconds in this case, I guess, or get world delta seconds right here. That will also work. Uh, on our interp speed, I'm probably just going to say, uh, well, you know what, let's just use 20. So what that what this will do is it will keep the character from suddenly 
decreasing or suddenly increasing in speed. So our current speed is our max walk speed. So we're going to get max uh, walk speed or let's see yeah no I guess that's it okay hook it up and that should be it We've already set everything else up, yeah? Okay, so now you'll see I'm walking slow down it, speed up a little bit if I'm walking around it like that, slow back down and speed up. Now you can uh, print out those values. So if you come back over here to your set movement speed, you can print out these values and tweak them a little bit however you want to. I tweaked them uh, a little bit, but I didn't really spend too much time trying to get it perfect. But you'll see. And uh, you should test it on uh, multiple different surfaces of different angles. This is probably about a 40 degree slope right here. Uh, somewhere around there. So that's like probably about the max slope uh, that your character will probably be running up. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, if you found this helpful, uh, please like down below and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope this uh, helped someone.